I'm a little worried, man. We've never built anything this clean before. Oh, yeah. Man, it's like the cleanest thing we've ever done. Let's just load it up in the truck right now and just head back to North Carolina. Just like all tail while no one's here. <laughs> What's up, everybody? In today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are down in Texas at Go Power Sports, putting together a brand new Rascal mini bike that we're gonna raffle off for charity. Now, this is probably the cleanest mini bike we will ever build. The guys at Go Power Sports had it powder coated in candy apple red and have the exhaust and handlebars coated in genuine chrome. The Rascal mini bike kit goes live this Wednesday, May 12th on Go Power Sports website for $895. And all you need uh, to get it going is an engine and add your own paint. So enjoy today's episode. We raffle it off to one lucky winner and help raise a ton of money for charity. Enjoy the episode. Look at all those 30 series torque converter kits. And I have this whole room just oh, for taking photos yeah. of stuff, but here is the bike. Ooh. I like. They powder coated it candy apple red. They were like, hey guys, what color do you want this bike? And we were like, candy right. apple red. And it looks awesome. We have black fenders, black uh, chain, chain guard. guard. I'm a little worried, man. We've never built anything this clean before. I know, right? It makes me a little nervous. It does, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's the first time for everything, right? That's right. Hey man, so let's get this thing downstairs and start finding some parts. So we have the entire kit displayed out here on the table, and I gotta say I'm a little bit nervous. It's definitely much nicer by a significant margin than anything we've ever put together. Um, so it's very an extensive kit. Um, it comes with literally everything except for the engine, just like the little rascal. And the guys at Go Power Sports went out of their way to powder coat it already. They already pre-assembled it to make sure everything fit, which is a great idea. They took it apart and they powder coated it. So, I mean, we really had the easy job of just putting it all together. So let's get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is install the bushings into the neck of the rascal bike. And I gotta tell you, man, I'm really loving it. I can't wait to take this thing for a rip. Yes, sir. Not too much of a rip, because we don't want to mess it up. Well, that's true. That's true. A cruise. So. Hey, it's not pretty enough to hit with a hammer, though, am I right? Well, that's why I'm using a rubber hammer. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's always a good idea, like I mentioned, to test fit all this stuff beforehand. Um, but hey, the guys at Go Power Sports already, already did it did for it. us. Yeah. So uh, I really like installing these uh, bushings with the bolt in it because you can hammer the snot out of it and not have to worry about damaging the bushing. There you go. That's it. Okay. Ooh. Be careful. Yeah, man, I heard that ding. Uh, yeah, my bad. All right. It's kind of like working on my truck after I painted it. It's like you're just walking on eggshells. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little, little too nice. But hey, it's not our bike anyway. It's getting raffled off. That's right. All right, so there's that. All right, so on the little rascal, we installed a washer under here because there was a little bit of space. It doesn't look like we need to install a washer this time, so. It probably just depends on every bike. Might all be a little different. Yep. But then washer, locking nut, and the forks will be on. Mm -hmm. So Ike had a great idea, which is to put some kind of tape on the frame so that uh, it gets protected from the uh, forks when you turn it here. Because there are, are no stops. Yeah, there are no stops on this, so um, we're gonna use some tape to protect that. And Mark gave us this very special high-tech tape, and um, I've never seen it before, but it's designed to like protect paint from getting nicked. It goes on clear, it's awesome. That's some high sign stuff right there, dude. Look at that. You can put it on the frame where a chain might rub too. It's really some cool stuff. 
So next up, we're gonna install the handlebars. Why? Just because that's what I wanna do next. And uh, the kit comes with, with everything you need to install these handlebars. It comes with the little little clamps here and uh, really sweet, they, they chromed the handlebars for us. That's not a standard thing, right? No, but chromed handlebars, they look fantastic. I'm really excited about this. Uh, just something I wanted to point out on these uh, clamps here. You have a top, which is gonna be these with the grooves, and then you have a bottom, which is completely flat. Don't get them mixed up because if you do, the handlebars are going to be cocked a bit. Yep, I think I made that mistake. I just learned that a couple months ago. So, <laughs> how long? I wasn't going to say, man. Yeah. <laughs> you gave it away yourself. Yeah. But the kit comes with the everything you need for the handlebars, and they even went through the trouble of chroming the uh, the handlebars, the yeah. exhaust. Yeah, it's going to be a sweet bike. Did are we going to buy tickets? Sure. Man, I'm hammering on a brand new bike. I mean, it needs that cars and cameras touch somehow. Yeah, I just don't need to scratch it. <laughs> After Ike finishes tightening the handlebars on, we're gonna go ahead and add the special cars and cameras touch to this build, which we're gonna be taking the uh, blower housing off, which is their brand new extra thick blower housing. It's actually really beefy. And uh, we're gonna scuff it up and we're gonna throw a little bit of splatter paint on there just for that extra little cars and cameras touch. So this build is getting a stage one till it's in 212 with the extra thick blower housing. Uh, the Rascal kit does not ship with an engine, just like the little Rascal. The only thing you need to provide is the engine, so you can go with either 79 if it's for you know an inexperienced rider, or a 212 or a 225 or 228 if you wanna go crazy. But this one's just getting a very mild uh, Tillotson 212 stage one. Still should be a ton of fun. Wow, it's heavy, man. Way heavier than a factory one. Let me check that out. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, solid. So in case you're paranoid about your flywheel coming apart, it's just a little bit of extra insurance. And you can get that at Go Power Sports? Yeah, I imagine you can, yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, scuff pad? So we scuffed up the blower housing. I wiped it off with some acetone and uh, let it sit for a few minutes and then I hit it with a tack rag and Ike is going to work. Nothing. Nothing, not enough uh, material on there. Yes. Yes. Oh, Ooh, I love that. I think that's it. That's it, what man. That looks great. And we're going to do the wheel hubs, too. Because why not? Why not? I think that's it. Awesome. Give it a couple minutes and you can wash your hand and then we can clear coat. I think I ought to wash my hand now rather than give it a couple minutes. I got a splatter on my pants. All right, so we got a little bit of a no-no on our hands and we're mixing paint brands. It, it'll be fine. But you know, if we ruin the blower housing. They got more. Literally hundreds more. Yeah, here we go. gonna be texture. Okay, well, it's all right. You Why did you do it on this one? I uh, no clue. Very strange. Did it on that one too, so it's texture paint. I mean, as long as the uh, the blower housing is okay, which it looks yeah. okay, so yeah. we'll be all right. Is that clear lacquer on top of enamel? Probably. That's why. So, uh, you know, we like to be scientific sometimes on cars and cameras, just right. testing things out, right? Yeah, yeah. So we so, have some consumer advice here. Yes, we have the uh, Rust-Oleum Gloss Enamel that I used on these hubs. And you can see when we hit the clear to it, it uh, did the wrinkle finish, yeah. which is totally on purpose. Yeah. So uh, we used 
this dupli color on top over the black and let me see what kind of it it is if it's enamel or or what yeah but basically but, our, our buddy uh, muscle mini bike joe came in here and was like oh yeah you it was you put the clear before the enamel was completely cured that's what happened so we yeah. learned something so yeah. don't put clear on top of enamel that's not completely i mean but it's finished. it's still kind of cool looking yeah it works yeah it works so let this stuff let's let this stuff dry and let's keep uh, assembling the bike over there all right so they even went through the trouble to powder coat all the little stuff like the bracket for the rear fender yeah so we're gonna go ahead and install that and then nice by the time we get on there our hubs should be ready to go oh this is so cool we don't need no stinking washers yeah it's just the cleanest bike we've ever built yeah we gotta find a local powder coater man this this stuff is just too cool this is a uh, really really cool the front and the back on that fender i don't think so we have a few different choices for tires we have these off-road knobbies or we have the uh street tires we're gonna go with streets on this because it's definitely a uh, well it's just street bike not something you're really going to take off road um so ike is going to work on that i'm going to put the blower housing back together put it on the engine and start working on the handlebar controls This charity raffle was set up by Go Power Sports and it's benefiting Teen Life, an organization that provides a comprehensive directory of STEM, gap year, pre-college, and community service programs for teenagers to drive teen success. I say it's coming along pretty good man yes sir i love that color putting the wheels on this is gonna just look so freaking awesome dude that is so cool you know sometimes you hit that moment where like a project just comes together yeah i think this is that moment front wheel going on oh yeah oh, oh yes. yeah so now that we have this cool wrinkle finish by accident on the uh, rear hub, uh, let's go ahead and install the, uh, the brake. So we have a spacer that we have to install here. Then we have the brake disc. And I gotta find the little screws. Here yep. they are. Kit comes with a bag of hardware. Yep. And we have our valve stem on the brake side, yes. which is going to be the opposite side of the bike. Right. So when the bike is on, this is the way I like to do it. When the, of course, it's different for everything, everybody. But in this, which I like when I set them up, the kickstand when the bike is over on its side, I like having the valve stem on that side that's pointing up. Yep. And on in this case, you can kind of reach through the brake disc to put air in your tire if you put the valve stem on the other side with the sprocket yeah there's no way dude you can't put air in the tire especially when you got a big boy on there so yeah so just try and make sure the valve stem is on the side that you can get access to it can't do it on the sprocket side in this case man we need to name, name this one Dude, this sprocket is, uh, this gearing is, this thing's going to be kind of quick. Yep. It's Wheeling machine. A, a good top speed. So, uh, if you bought this or if you, uh, won this for your kid, <laughs> yeah, be, be careful. Be very careful. I bet this thing will do 48 miles an hour. Really? That's what I think. Dang. Wait a minute. Still got a governor here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so maybe 43. All right, man. Putting the rear wheel on. Yeah. What I, do we need to know? I got to say, it looks really good. That uh, wrinkle finish is uh, perfection on purpose, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it uh, comes with uh, the spacers for the rear. You got to put them in. And uh, they powder coated it for us for this build. 
which is great. It turned out great. And uh, did we uh, tell everybody that these kits come like bare metal, but with everything you need minus engine? And minus paint. And minus paint? Yep. So, I mean, just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, fortunate for us, they uh, already had everything powder coated. So it goes axle, spacer, wheel, spacer, axle. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, it does, dude. <laughs> it's axle, spacer, wheel, spacer, nut. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to install this spring here first because it's like the hardest spot to install. I'm going to hook it onto the uh, peg right there. And then I'm going to pull down on the peg and install the pin. And then you have the cotter pin. Easy peasy. And you have a kickstand. That's right. Check it out. I remember one time you were like, hey, you got an engine, and then you dropped it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was classic. So your kit also comes with, I believe the kit comes with uh, engine mounts. Jason, do the, does the Rascal kits come with the engine mount bolts? Yes, sir, it does. Okay, that answers that question. So we're gonna install the engine mount bolts. I'm going from bottom up because that's just better for me. Oh, we need to put engine oil in this thing. Yes, we do. Cool. Well, uh, we'll just use a nice flamel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just put engine oil in this thing. Mm -hmm. Almost ready to ride. We are getting so close. Ready. We're going to see how far we can jump it, right? Of course. That's what we do. Uh -oh. Let's move it on back. Hey. That's a heck of a difference. Look Let's at that. Just yeah. Use all of the chain. And then just and then tension we'll the engine. Forward. Sounds good. So I'm almost finished up with the fuel system here. Been working on some other odds and ends. Ike is installing the rear brake, mm -hmm. which is a hydraulic disc. Yep. With the reservoir right there at the, uh, the handle grip. All right. So I've ran. I put the uh, handle on the on the uh, handlebars. <laughs> the brake handle and master cylinder are on the handlebars. I've run the brake line down, and I'm running under here, coming over here, and slipping her on the brake disc. Um, it comes with a couple of spacers and a couple of bolts. We're gonna install that right now. It really looks like you wrecked your hand there, dude, but it's just red it's paint. It's just paint. You got Paul outside breaking in a race engine right now. Oh, I heard a little crinkle crinkle. That's the problem when you start tightening down bolts on this uh, powder coat, man. It's just yeah. flaking. So as soon as Ike finishes with that chain guard, we can set her on the ground, put the final touches on it, and it'll be ready for a test drive. Mm -hmm. So they also chromed the exhaust, and it looks awesome. It looks amazing. That's genuine chrome. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Well, let's bring it down, man. Have a look. All right, man. That chrome. Dang. Putting the finishing touches on. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. There it is, man. One more. 
That's some good chrome, man. Good morning, everybody. The start of a new day. Uh, we actually <laughs> hit the mini bike with some uh, quick wax, quick detailer the other day, or yesterday. This is the first time seeing it out in the sun. It's about time for a test drive. It is clean. What do you say, man? I, I like the accidental center hubs. The, ac the happy accidental center hubs. Yeah. Yep. Um, wow, the uh, splatter on the engine. Oh, looks great. Man, it's like the cleanest thing we've ever done. I really like the accidental uh, wrinkle paint on the center hubs with the red splatter uh, It gives some, a little extra uh, the splatter paint on the uh, engine K uh, the blower cover Even though the paint wasn't even close to being the same color as the frame. I think we pulled it off. It, I, we pulled it off uh, <laughs> Can we keep it? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a little too clean okay, for me, dude. Let's let's just load it up in the truck right now and just head back to North Carolina. Just like all tail while no one's here. Yeah. <laughs> no one can stop us at the moment, man. <laughs> oh, this thing is so good. It is, man. Well, oh. hey, you want to break in that engine and take it for a quick spin? I, I think, yes, I do. Yes. Cool. Carefully. Very carefully. <laughs> Very carefully. Don't mess this fill up up, man. Uh, man, this is the time I'm... You know, I'm usually really good about filling things up. Yep. I'm a little afraid on this one. <laughs> <laughs> they have this brand new petcock, which is really cool. Uh, Got a it, twister on not, the bottom. It's not for sale yet. Oh, not for sale yet. Okay. Check out this nifty petcock. Just give it a twist and you can see the fuel start to creep. Got a fuel filter on there, making its way to the carburetor. All right, so we did just reroute the fuel line. It looks a whole lot cleaner now. Look at that. And uh, it has fuel in it. Ike's about to go for a test drive. So like with any completely untested brand new project, you're always gonna want to put your bike or go-kart up against the wall before you crank it up, especially when it's as nice as this one. How many poles? Two. One. That is the gentlest you've ever been it really has. with a project. It rides so good. <laughs> really? Yes, you gotta get on this thing. Yeah, I'd like to, man. I'm gonna I'm probably put it around just like you. Um, it is so stinking clean. It's got some speed to it. Yeah? I mean, that sprocket, like I thought, um, it's got a pretty decent top speed, especially with the governor in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it rides so smooth, so smooth. Yeah, can't wait to take it for a spin, man. Yeah, man. So it's just the little rascal, but a little more comfortable, right? More it's, wheelbase. Well, more stable. Yeah, basically, basically it's the the little rascal with a few inches added here, a few inches added here, and oh my gosh, is it comfortable? Sweet. So the ape hangers are so cool. The rascal. Yeah. Is awesome. Yeah, dude. Oh well, let me take it for a spin, man, real quick. Just put it around. All right. Oh, I'm gonna put it up against something, man. That'll no, be all right. Man, I, I think idle will be fine. Idle? I think it'll, 
Yeah. It is so sweet, dude. It might be the perfect cruising mini bike. It's not quite perfect, though. Had not done a burnout yet? <laughs> no, no, not that. Uh, forgot to uh, uh, cut one of those uh, zip ties underneath the uh, bike. It's bothering me. Oh, really? Okay. But, <laughs> but that's an easy fix. But other than that, yeah. Other than that, it's perfect. Dude, the, it's really the, just the positioning of your feet and arms is really comfortable. Oh, it rides so good. The brake is really responsive. Yep. Uh, it's really torquey. It's just kind of good all the way around. So it's the final day of the paid swap meet. It has been a ton of fun so far. We finally have a day with perfect weather. So our buddy Montoya is uh he's been polishing up all the bikes as they get dusty from this uh, dirt road here he's gonna wipe us down and then uh we're gonna go ahead and do this drawing at 3 p.m all right so we're about two minutes out from the drawing on the rascal mini bike and we have to have raised over five thousand dollars for teen life this week uh, through all the tickets that we've sold so thank you everyone out there who has bought a ticket uh, to win this mini bike if you didn't win that's okay your money still went uh, to a great cause so I need to get over there because this drawing is happening So the guy who won the Rascal Charity Raffle was out of Kentucky and I heard he bought 30 tickets. So th big thank you to everyone who entered. Next year we're planning on doing another one uh, bigger and better. We're gonna have some in-person uh, prizes as well. At least that's word on the street. Uh, I can't wait. It was a ton of fun putting together this mini bike. Of course, we're going to be doing another Rascal build. We're going to do our own take on the Rascal uh, here in a few weeks uh, at the Cars and Cameras headquarters here. But we have one more episode uh, from Go Power Sports and the Pate Swap Meet coming up on Wednesday. So be sure to tune in for that. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode. Um, yeah, I had a great time down there. As always, uh, it's great to see the growth that Go Power Sports has seen and also the fact that, you know, uh, we're, we're raffling stuff off for charity as well. The final number was $6,500 worth of tickets sold and Go Power Sports rounded it up to an even 7000 So, I mean, that's not bad for basically a week's uh, worth of promotion on a rascal next year we're planning on doing it bigger and better than before we were really flattered to be a part of this and uh it was an awesome time so thanks for watching guys we will catch you next time So Paul is the performance engine builder here at Go Power Sports, and he just ran this uh, 225 with a 285 cam in it, and uh, it peaked at around what did he say? I don't know, 22 horsepower or something like that. But it made over 20 horsepower from uh, about 6,000 all the way past uh, 8,000 RPM. So that's a nice, 
wide power band of above 20 horsepower. I remember years ago we were doing this and we were just impressed to get 12 horsepower out of one of these things, dude. It's come so far.